this week on Faith Lift. Faith is an active spiritual force. Let me say it again. Faith is an active spiritual force. Well, welcome everybody. Once again, I'm so glad you could join me on our show. Glory to God, Faith Lift, and this show is geared to build your faith, to stir your faith, to obtain Bible results. Well, we have been on a series, Faith That Dominates, Faith That Subdues. The mystery of faith is that it gives you mastery over the world, the flesh, and the devil. No longer will you be subject to the devil's attacks. Now, I didn't say he will not attack you. I just said faith will allow you to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one. And this is why today on this show, I want you please to pay attention to the word that you're going to receive. You know, the word of God is very clear. The author of Hebrews said, how shall we escape if we neglect? so great salvation. So I want to say to you this way, how will you escape sickness if you <clears throat> neglect the word of healing? How will you escape poverty if you neglect the word of prosperity? How will you escape unbelief if you neglect faith? This is why today you have to, hey, the Bible tells you, hearken unto the word. Listen to what you're about to receive from the word today as I teach you the word. And I guarantee you, not only by faith have you changed your spiritual destiny. Just think about that. You, were, you had a one-way ticket to hell. But it's by faith you change your spiritual destiny and your spiritual location. You are heading one-way ticket to hell. But by faith, now you're going to heaven. Well, if you can change your spiritual destiny and your spiritual location, why can't you change your physical destiny and your physical location? You can by faith. I will see you after the break. So get your pen, your Bible ready to listen to God's Word. Once you are born again, that you become proficient in the subject of faith. And so we have dedicated the month of June as the faith month. And you need to understand that faith is what causes you to walk in partnership with God. Let me say it again. Faith is what causes you to walk in partnership with God. Number two, faith gives you dominion over the world, the flesh, and the devil. Let me say it again. Faith gives you what? Dominion over the world, the flesh, and the devil. Number three, faith takes you from the realm of being a victim to becoming a victor. Amen. So this is why it's imperative for you to know how to walk by faith. Now, let's go to our text which we were looking at on Wednesday. Let's go to 1 John chapter 5. 1 John chapter 5. Glory to God. <clears throat> Verse 1, whosoever believeth that Jesus is the Christ. Can you see that? Whosoever believeth that Jesus is the Christ. Now, lift up your hands. Say, I believe, I believe that Jesus, that Jesus is, the Christ. is the Christ. In fact, let's say it this way. Say, I believe, I believe that Jesus, Jesus is the Messiah. Messiah. What's well, it say? Whosoever believeth that Jesus is the Christ is what? Born of God. Is that correct? All right, so lift up your hands. Say, I believe, I believe that Jesus is the Messiah, therefore I am born of God. Now, what's that mean? I'm born again. Now, are you born again? All right, so now, how did we get born again? Well, what, what is the word? It says, we are born again, not of corruptible seed, but the incorruptible seed by the word of God, which liveth and abideth forever. Amen? Amen. So, you can only be born again by, by the word of God. Say Hallelujah. Now, so if I believe that Jesus the Christ, I'm born of God, and everyone that loveth him, uh, that begat, loveth him also that is begotten of him. Now look at verse 4. For whatsoever is born of God. Now, verse 1 says whosoever. Verse 4 says whatsoever, right? For whatsoever is born of God. Now, who's that? 
That's the one that believed that Jesus is the Christ. Right? For whatsoever is born of God, there's what? Overcometh the world. Now, so what is God's perspective of you here? If you're born again, you are an overcomer of the world. All right? Say amen to that. All right, so lift up your hand and say, I'm born again. And in God's eyes, I am an overcomer of the world. But now, how do you do this? He says, and this is the victory that overcomes the world, our faith. All right, so put your hand in your heart. Say, my faith is the victory that overcomes the world. Say it again louder. Say, my faith is the victory that overcomes the world. So notice the word, faith is the victory. So if faith is the victory, fear is the defeat. If faith is the victory, unbelief is the defeat. So you need to know how to walk by faith. Say amen to that. Amen. Now let's write a few things down. And, and, and over this month, you're going to hear this statement over and over and over again. Now, if you don't get anything out of this, you need to get this statement. Get this. <clears throat> faith and worry do not mix. Worry is you having a conversation with you about a situation that you cannot change. Let me, did, you hear, did you hear what I just said to you? Worry is you having a conversation with yourself about a situation that you cannot change. What do people do when they're worried? They talk to themselves. You see them walking down the street and they're talking to themselves. And they're, and they're echoing the same problem to themselves. Worry is you having a conversation with yourself about a situation that you cannot save, uh, change. Prayer is you having a conversation with God about a situation he can change. Say amen to that. Faith is you having a conversation with the mountain and telling your mountain it's time to change. Say amen. So worry is you having a conversation with yourself. Prayer is you having a conversation with God, but faith is you having a conversation with your mountain and tell your mountain to get out of the way. Come on, somebody say amen to that. Now, <clears throat> so let's write this down. Faith is an active spiritual force within the reborn spirit of man. Faith is what? An active spiritual force. Everybody say after me. Say faith is an active spiritual force within my human spirit that is released through the mouth by words. That is released through the mouth by what? Words. What kind of words? God's word. God's word. You need to understand something here. When it comes to faith, there are two important factors. <coughs> and if you don't get this right, then you will not be strong in faith. These two important factors is number one, God's word. Number two, your words. Let me say it again. The two most important factors when it comes to faith are no, is number one, what is it? God's word. What has God said? There is no basis for faith outside of what God has said. You can only be strong in faith and has the faith and have the faith that dominates when you discover what God has said about your situation. Then the moment you discover what God has said, his words got to become your words. Hallelujah. All right, so touch your mouth. Say his words, his words. Must, become must become my words. My Hallelujah. The Apostle John told us that faith is the victory that overcomes the world. You became a Christian through faith, by the confession of the sinner's prayer, and to remain a successful Christian, you'll have to know how to use your faith. This is why we're told, the just shall live by faith. The most important thing for you to learn once you are saved is how to live by faith. Why? Because faith puts you in partnership with God. Faith is what pleases God. 
Faith is how you obtain Bible results. Faith is what quenches the fiery darts of the devil. Faith is what gives you the power to dominate the world, the flesh, and the devil. Once you master the subject of faith, you will stop being a victim of circumstances. This is why our offer today is crucial for you. Faith That Dominates is a power-packed bundle that will give you the keys to dominating your circumstances. It's your time to be the victor and not the victim. The book, Provoking Exploits Through the Force of Imposing Aggressive Faith, will cause you to have supernatural exploits and breakthroughs in your life. You will know God, be strong, have imposing aggressive faith, tap into persistent, importunate prayer, and know about the leading of the Holy Spirit. You will also receive four audio CDs, The Power of Expectation and Patience, a two-CD series, and Faith That Dominates, another two-CD series. If you're tired of defeat, tired of being pushed around by Satan, then order the Faith That Dominates Power Packed Bundle today and begin to walk in the lifestyle of faith that you were designed for. Call now, 502-523-4407, 502-523-4407, or do it yourself easily now on our website at glenarechion.org. Go online at glenarechion.org and download your order right away. Call the number on your screen for more information. Well, I hope you've been paying attention to the word. I'm telling you, faith will change your destiny. Now, listen to me very carefully here. I've told you, worry and faith do not mix. Now, hear me and hear me well. Worry is you having a conversation with yourself about a situation that you cannot change. Prayer is you having a conversation with God about a situation He can change. Faith is you having a conversation with the mountain, telling it it's got to change, it's got to get out of your way. Did you hear what I said? Let me say it again in case you missed it. Worry is you having a conversation with yourself about a situation that you cannot change. And some of you have been talking to yourself and worrying yourself, putting yourself under pressure, having this conversation with yourself and wearing you down, and you can't change nothing. But prayer is you having a conversation with the Almighty God about a situation that He can change. But faith, the God kind of faith, that is resident inside of you if you are born again. Let me tell you this. You're born again, you've got the faith of God inside of you. All that God's waiting for is for you to use your faith. Faith is you having a conversation with your mountain and telling it, get out of my way and change. This is why today you've got to take advantage of the products that we have on faith. I've told you before. Faith is what gets you to walk in partnership with God. He will not partner with unbelief. He will not partner with doubt. In fact, doubt is the thief of God's blessing. If you want to walk in partnership with God, then walk by faith. Faith is the way to obtain Bible results. Faith is what pleases God. And this is why you've got to become a professional and become proficient in the subject of faith. Now, look on your screen. We have an offer today that will bless your life and stir your faith. Glory to God. Listen to me very carefully here. The more you learn about faith, the more your mountain will become small. The more you learn about faith, the more doubt and fear and unbelief will not be able to exert any power, any authority over you. So call the number on your screen. Or go to our website, which is www.glenarechion.org and take advantage of this week's offer. God bless you. Write the word confession. Confession, in Greek, is the word homologio. H-O-M-O-L-O-G-E-O. Homologio. Well, you know what the word homo means? Homo means same. Logio comes from the Greek word logos. What is the word logos means? God's written word. So homologia, which is the word confession, means 
saying the same word that God has said. Now, when you step into a problem, there is the doctor's word. Right? There is the word of the problem. There's the words of Satan. Then there is God's word. Then there's your words. Now, who will you line up with? God's word? Or will you line up with what the doctor said? Or will you line up with what the Satan is saying? No. We line up with God's word. Say amen. Lift up your hand and say, I always line up with God's word. Now, so that's why I'm saying to you, faith is an active spiritual force within the reborn human spirit, that is your born again spirit. It is released through the mouth by words. Just like you would put a bullet in the chamber of a gun. Then you press the t- trigger and the bullet that is in the chamber will come out. When you put God's word in the chambers of your spirit, your tongue is the trigger that released the word. That released the bullet of the word that causes explosion in the kingdom of darkness. Say amen. So this is why we must know the word of God. Now, let's watch something else. Faith is resident in every born again believer. Amen. Now, touch your heart. Say, I am born again. I have faith. If you were not born again, you wouldn't have faith. Are you listening? The fact that you are born again. Are you born again? Come on, talk to me. Are you born again? Then you have faith. Say amen, somebody. Now, listen. We all start out at the same measure of faith. Now, I didn't say that we are all at the same level of faith. But we all start out with the same measure of faith. That's what the Bible says. Now, what is the measure of faith? Write this down. The measure of faith that we all begin with is the seed measure. We all begin with the seed measure. So what do you do with the seed? You plant it to grow. Amen? Now, today, I don't know where you're at. Some of you may, I mean... What's the first time I went to Africa, and uh, I went to a place called Ivory Coast, Cote d'Ivoire, in Abidjan, and I went through the market, and they were selling seeds. And all the seeds, all kind of seeds, all kind of seeds, were in jars, in jars. And it just dawned on me, you can have all the seeds in the jar, but that seed will not do you any good until you take it out of the jar and put it in the ground for it to grow. Are you listening? The reason why your, your faith is not developed or strong is because it's still in the chamber of your heart. You've got to plant it and make it grow. Say amen. amen. And the word is the seed. You've got to make that word grow. Somebody say hallelujah to that. Now, I want to show you something else today. So let's write a few things out anyway. Glory to God. Say hallelujah. hallelujah. Now, write this down. Why is it important for you to become strong in faith? Because faith, number three, write this down, is the currency of the kingdom. Faith is the currency of the kingdom with which transactions are made. With which transactions are made. Spiritual, physical transactions are made. Faith is the currency of the kingdom. Now listen to me very carefully here. I told you before and I'll say it again. Faith is like money. The more of it you have, the more you can do. All right, so put your hand in your heart. Say, faith Faith. is like money. The more of it I have, the more I can do. The more faith you have, the more you can do. The more money you have, the more you can do, right? The more money you have, the more you can do for your children. Is that correct or not? Right? The more money you have, the more you can do for your family. Some of us, we want to do a lot more for our family, but the reason why we can't do it, because we don't have the money. But the more money you have, the more you can do for your family, the more you can do for your church, the more you can do for your country. It's the same way faith works that way. The more of it you have, the more you can do for yourself, the more of it you can do for your family, and the more of it you can do for your church. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say amen. So you have to develop your capacity for faith. Glory to God. Now write this down. Number four, faith is an offensive and defensive weapon to deal with with the darts and the wiles of the devil. Let me say it again. Faith, number four, is the offensive and defensive weapon to deal with the darts and the wiles of the devil. 
How do you deal with the attacks of, of the enemy? And let me tell you this. Every one of us here who is born again, Jesus said it this way. In the world, you will have what? Tribulation. In fact, one Bible says, in the world, you will have trouble. Uh, anybody ever been there? <laughs> right? In the world, you will have what? Trouble. Now, look at what it didn't say. It didn't say in the world you will be in trouble. Big difference. There is, there is a difference in being in trouble and having trouble. What's the difference? Being in trouble is a result of your bad decisions. Are you listening? When you are in trouble, many times it's a result of your bad decisions. But trouble, when Jesus is in the world, you will have trouble. It's the Greek word flipsis, which means pressures of this world. The pressures of this world. Which means when you're alive, if you are alive right now, the, there is political correctness pressurizing us to believe what the world believes. There are political um, people at work trying to force believers to accept the redefinition of marriage. Are you listening? And if you don't accept their, the world's redefinition of marriage, then they call you a hater. Right? Now they're going to change a 6,000 year definition of marriage by God and they want you to change your belief to line up with them. That's the pressure of this world. Are you listening? So, that, so Jesus said, in the world, you will have pressure. Because it, it comes by being in the world. Are you listening? But you being in trouble is because of a series of bad decisions that you have made. This is why you need to understand there are consequences to decisions. Are you listening? Can I hear any man somebody? Good decisions bring good consequences. Bad decisions bring bad consequences. Say amen to that. So we want to know how to walk by faith. Amen. Now write this down. Number five. Faith is the dominion way over the elements of the world, the flesh, and the devil. Now, let, 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 let's go back to, let's go to Hebrews chapter 11, and I'm going to share something else with you after that. That's, that's where we get the faith that dominates. Hebrews 11, verse 32. Hebrews 11 and verse 32. Hallelujah. Glory to God. All right, let's read verse 32 to verse uh, 35, but the main verse we want to look at is verse 33. What shall I most say for the time would fail me to tell you of Gideon and of Barak and of Samson and of Jephthah, of David and of Samuel and of the prophets? Look at everybody read verse 33 now. Everybody read verse 33. Who through faith subdued kingdoms? Who did what now? Who through faith did what? Subdue. Everybody say faith subdues. Faith subdues. Say it again. Faith subdues. Faith subdues. Faith of what subdues kingdoms, wrought righteousness, obtain promises. All right? Repeat after me. Say, faith subdues. Faith obtains promises. Then what? Faith stop the mouth of lions. Can you see that? That's what we're talking about. The faith that dominates. The faith that subdues. If you don't walk by faith, you cannot subdue. If you're not walking by faith, then you will be subdued. You hear me? How do you subdue sickness? How do you subdue poverty? How do you subdue fear? How do you subdue worry? you got to walk by faith. Can I hear any man somebody? So lift up your hand and say, my faith will subdue sickness, the world, the flesh, and the devil. All right, now, 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 how do you do that? All right, let's go to 2 Corinthians. 2 Corinthians. <clears throat> chapter 5, verse 7, and then chapter 4. This is what we're going to look at today, and we're going to close right here. All right, now, let's read verse 7 together. Ready? One, two, go. For we walk by faith and not by sight. So lift up your hands one more time. Say it louder. Say, for we walk by faith and not by sight. All right, say it again one more time, please. 
I walk by faith and not by sight. Say it again, please. I walk by faith, not by sight. This is what you need to understand. Faith has got nothing to do with what you see in the natural. You need, to, you need to make that a very important point in your notes. Faith has nothing to do with what you see in the natural. The reason why many of you are weak in faith. The Apostle John told us that faith is the victory that overcomes the world. You became a Christian through faith. By the confession of the sinner's prayer, and to remain a successful Christian, you'll have to know how to use your faith. This is why we're told, the just shall live by faith. The most important thing for you to learn once you are saved is how to live by faith. Why? Because faith puts you in partnership with God. Faith is what pleases God. Faith is how you obtain Bible results. Faith is what quenches the fiery darts of the devil. Faith is what gives you the power to dominate the world, the flesh, and the devil. Once you master the subject of faith, you will stop being a victim of circumstances. This is why our offer today is crucial for you. Faith that dominates is a power-packed bundle that will give you the keys to dominating your circumstances. It's your time to be the victor and not the victim. The book provoking exploits through the force of imposing aggressive faith will cause you to have supernatural exploits and breakthroughs in your life. You will know God, be strong, have imposing aggressive faith, tap into persistent, importunate prayer, and know about the leading of the Holy Spirit. You will also receive four audio CDs, The Power of Expectation and Patience, a two-CD series, and Faith That Dominates, another two-CD series. If you're tired of defeat, tired of being pushed around by Satan, then order the Faith That Dominates Power Packed Bundle today and begin to walk in the lifestyle of faith that you were designed for. Call now, 502-523-4407. 502-523-4407 or do it yourself easily now on our website at glenarechion.org Go online at glenarechion.org and download your order right away. Call the number on your screen for more information. Go ye into all the world is a mandate given to every believer. However, not everybody's called to go on the mission field. But you can still play your part in the Great Commission and partner with Glenn Arecchion Ministries. Today, consider to be one of Dr. Glenn's faithful, financial, and prayerful partners.